Hello and welcome back to Serious About Salvage and another video on the channel. And we've got a new car, a new car to show you. And look, I've got my hat on. I know you all like my hats. It's bitterly cold up here at the moment. Um, it's about 10 o'clock in the morning today. It's lovely and sunny outside, but it's four degrees. So it's pretty cold. It's starting to get cold up here. I don't know where you are in the country or even the world, but yeah, winter is on its way. Um, but, you know, just look at the views we have. Lovely, nice hills. It's a really nice day, Joe, but it's it's cold. Yeah. Anyway, welcome back to the channel. Yes, I've got another car. This is one of three cars I'm picking up today. Well, in all truth, I picked up this last night, uh, but it was late on. So yes, new car, uh, one of three today. And we've got a Fiat 500X. So it's the bigger brother to the Fiat 500. Um, bloody hell, camera turning. 66 plate. Um, I think it is a 2016 car, uh, obviously a late one. And um, yeah, as you can see, there's not all that much wrong with it. So I'm gonna spin you around. And uh, we'll look, let's, have a look, let's have a look around it. So here we go. Sorry about the bit of a, a um, do you know, the, the, the light coming through, should I say? I can't do much about it, I'm afraid. So yeah, 2016 uh, Fiat 500X. This is the 1.6 turbo diesel one as well. Um, I think, I can't remember the spec, but it's not the standard pop. It's, oh, it did say on the advert, but uh, for the life of me, I can't remember um, what it said now. Uh, it is a run and drive, um, and yeah, I think it's a really good buy. I paid, or do you know the thumbnails when I say it anyway, um, hammer price, £3,600 for this car. I think it was a really good buy, very little damage. So yes, I can see already it's got a little bit more than I expected, I'll be honest. Um, there's a bit of a crease in the wing, which was in, you couldn't see that on the pictures. And it looked like this bonnet was fine as well, but unfortunately it's not. You know, there's a bit of a, there's a bend on the front, there's a bend there and a bend there, so it has been pushed down and under a little bit. But on first impressions, the rad pack all looks fine, front panel looks fine. Um, I think we're best off, just get it, get it off the trail, get it up, move it forwards, and then we can have a proper look round it. So I will put you on a stand whilst I mess about and try and get this off the lift because this trailer, uh, the hydraulic bit doesn't work so you can't tilt it and get cars off. It's as simple as that. So you've got to use the ramp. But not to worry, we've done it many times before and we'll do it again. Um, and like I said, this will be the third one of three that I do with this, this with today because the other two cars, one of them took more keys and the other one doesn't drive. So. Let's get on with it. Right, there we go. 
Uh, we're down. Now, I've just spotted something inside the back. Uh, I'm just going to show you, actually. Yeah, we're just going to go straight around and I'm going to show you. No damage. Um, well, I've just seen a dent there. There's a little bit of a dent there. Um, no damage on the back. But let's have a look what we've sorted in the boot. Bumper. Now, obviously, it's damaged and the skin's not going to be usable. But even things like, you know, that centre grill, these lights, them lights, um, there's a lot of bits of trims on these bumpers. Oh, even the headlights down there. The headlights there. That's a result, even if, you know, like I said, some of it's not usable. Crash bars there. You can have a look at that. Oh, that's a result. Excellent. Uh, I'll get that out in a minute. But I suppose first thing to do is see if it actually does run. It's supposed to do. It's supposed to be a run and drive. Um, so I've got the key in my pocket. I want to move it forward, you see. So let's just get in and try it. No messing. <clears throat> Never ever been in one of these. Uh, little digital um, centre stack whatever you want to call it, the sides are analog. Uh, let's see what happens then. We've got power. <clears throat> Here we start. Yes. Check engine. And the ball boarding, because obviously the headlights aren't in. Side lights, drive mode unavailable. It's probably because the engine management light's on, isn't it? Stereo does work, but we're going to turn that off. Electronic cam brake. And there's your driver mode then, isn't it? So, race, normal and off-road, I guess. Or sport, normal, off-road, some like that. But, yeah, they won't work right now because of the ECU light. We've got aircon. Get rid of that. All oh, right, you turn the knobs. All oh, right, okay. Get rid of that as well. Oh, okay. It's quite pleasant in here, isn't it, to be fair? Let's get it off this ramp. Oh, oh there's a boost leak, that's for sure. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, definite boost leak. Not sure how well you can hear that whistling. Yeah full on boost like somewhere. Um so look at these compartments quickly. Oh yes. Locking wheel up keys. And we've got the handbooks. <coughs> I'll leave that just for a minute. We'll have a look at that in a minute I think. Let's have a look round it. Uh, let's have a look round. All in all, in all fairness, it looks like quite a nice car. I like the colour, it's a very deep dark red. I want to get that bumper out as well, have a look at that. But looks like great tread all around. A few, few little marks on the back bumper, do from loading things. But it doesn't look all that bad really. <coughs> So got parking sensors, yeah parking sensors on the back. Does it have them on the front? No, none on the front. Well, like I said, this is a bog standard one because they don't they don't all have these side side like little bulbs lamps down here. I'm not sure the spec, I'll have to check up on it, I can't remember. In fact, there's a sticker on the other side of the car, but that says. Um Multi-jet cross, that's all it says. Cat head, don't know. But, yeah, very nice so far. Quite pleasantly surprised. I said a bit gutted about the bonnet and the wing, but we've got the bumper, so I can't really complain, can I? Can I get it out? Oh, oh it's quite heavy. It's 
quite heavy. One minute. Oh, making some funny noises. I'm gonna grab this bumper. See if we can get it out. Oh, it's massive. Oh. Oh. Uh, crikey. How did they get this in here? It's like bloody Krypton Factor. Come on, I can do it. I can figure this out. Come on. There we go. Oh, oh. Uh, uh. I don't know. I've done it, I've done it. What else have we got? Got the crash bar. Uh. Aluminium crash bar. Yeah, that's took a hit. Right in the middle. But it ain't all that bad, which is why the rad pack's not been caught. And there's our headlight. We have snapped snap tabs. But as long as they're still on the car, that can be repaired. Um why is this being weird? Thank you. That thing. Anything else for you? Bits of plastic. Uh, oh no, all the fixings. They've left all the fixings. So I'm going to leave them where they are for the minute because they're stuck down the back of the seat. And we will continue with the video. So there we go, a bumper. Spotlight's fine. Spotlight's fine. That side's good. That side, obviously, something's broken there. I'll have to have a look at. Um, now, I don't know how many pieces these come into and what's salvageable, really. By the looks of it, it's got you know, some marks on that, unfortunately. Um, it's bottom piece, maybe. Does that that might come off? That actually, that that silver trim might come off. And then it's just that little bit there, isn't it? Hmm. I'll have to strip that down and see what I can salvage out of it. But just getting them, they're going to be 100 quid each, aren't they? So you saved 200 quid there. You know, I've got a grill. Oh, the grill's got a little bit of a broken bit in it, unfortunately. And that's damaged. But yeah, at least we've got it all. Um, Josh, you got bumper brackets maybe as well, have you? Don't know how these fix on. No, just part of the bumper. Okay. I'll look into that at some point. Yeah, there's the crash bar. It's got a bit of damage there. It's not straight, so that'll need changing. Oh, it's off again. Ah, oh, massive hole in the bottom. Can you see that? A big hole in the intercooler. So it needs an intercooler. Here's a bonnet, a wing, a bumper. But the rad pack, so we've still got coolant. Coolant's all still there. 
So the radiator's fine. I think that air con rod's perfectly fine as well. Uh, and I think the front panel's okay. Can't see any damage on the front panel right now. Um, oh, good. I'm going to turn this off because it's whistling. It's irritating me. Um, but it seems to be running fine, obviously, barring the um, intercooler. Electric mirrors. Do they power fold or what's that do? What's that do? Put them back in there. Just feel like it's a button. Maybe not. Maybe they've just been pushed around. Yeah, they've just been pushed around, haven't they? I don't, I think it's okay. Um, yeah. I think it's a decent buy. Uh, no interior damage, no airbag light on. Um, what else is there to tell you, really? So let's have a look in this little handbook. Uh, let's see what we've got. I need to be careful, obviously. I don't want to disclose any personal information of anyone. Not, uh, that's the service book, so... I'll have a look in that in a second. We've got a handbook and some paperwork, like I said, I'm not going to open that. Uh, I'll just scan away a second, just have a look at this service book. See what we can see. What was that then? Oh, okay, yeah, it's got, it's got full service history. Um, the only details in here are the, are the places that did it, so I'll show you. Okay. So we've got full service at 24,000 miles. We had a service at 31,000 miles. And we had a service at 45,000 miles. This has only got 45,000 miles on it. 15 for the 9th. Let's check that. So that's service at 45. 447, a full service at 45447 last month. So, oh dear, they didn't get very far, did they? Let's see what my, how many miles it, what the hell? 45503. So they've done 56 miles since it was at a full service. Oh dear, no oh one hearing me. Uh, well, it's safe to say we won't be servicing it then, will we? So it doesn't need it. It's got full full service history. One key. Uh, I like it, actually. It's nice. Nice car. Nice colour. So, yeah. Um, 3600 um, That was obviously the hammer price. There was £400 fee, so it was pretty much smack on £4,000. Uh, out the door and I collected it so 40 quid in diesel so if you call it 4100 this stands me at right now uh, I think it's a pretty good buy that I don't think it's going to cost too much to repair um, I'll just have to have a look for parts look for prices and um, take it from there but seems to go forward seems to go backwards I suppose I didn't try going backwards did I but I don't think that's going to make much difference now Start straight up. It's just that intercooler. So it goes forward fine. Stops great. Back was fine. Yeah, that's quite nice. Plenty of buttons. You got your hands free. Cruise control is that? Or is that a speed limiter? Oh, it does get cruise control. It's got speed limit as well. Yeah, speed limit, cruise control. Um, no auto lights. It's a nice enough. It's a step up in quality from the normal um, Fiat 500. That's for definite. Draw the seats, draw the trim. All of it's nice and soft touch. It's um, it's actually quite a nice place to be. No parcel shelves there. That's good. All right. 
Right, yeah, I think that's going to be it, isn't it, guys? That's going to be it for this video. Like I said, I've got two more to go and get today and do similar videos on. And then um, I'm having a week off. So that's going to be your videos for a week, hopefully. So I need to go and get on, get on back, get these videos done because we're going away tomorrow. Um, so, yeah, there we go. Tell me what you think, guys. Full service history. Doesn't need a service, we just need to fix the obvious damage. Intercooler, bonnet, wing, and then this bumper, whatever we need to do. Oh, crash bar as well, of course. Under tray is fine. You know, it's, it's survived really well, it's not got much damage at all. So really happy. All right, so there you go, guys. Get in them comments and let me know what you think about my latest purchase. £4,000 all in to my unit. I think it's going to be okay. Yeah, I think it'll be a good buy. Uh, as always, thank you very much for watching. Really appreciate it. Smash that subscribe button, share these videos, and I will see you in the next one. And uh, it's going to be a good one, trust me. Or the one after that. I don't know what order they're going to be in, but one of these three vehicles, really excited about. Watch out for it. Cheers.